Hey, it's Saturday, March 25th, and uh, today we are going to do, we're just going to do a variety of things today. We've got some, uh, we're going to take a look at these uh, heater, the hoses that go from the air intake to the heat, or the heat shield around the muffler, and then that goes out to the cabin. We've got some oil hoses we need to do, or uh, some other hoses we need to do. We've got to measure, still need to measure for those um, pressure hoses and fuel hoses that go from the fuel pump to the fuel flow transducer. We got a fuel pressure tap that goes off of that. We got to measure all that, get those on order. But we just got a variety of things we're going to do. We're going to tighten up the brake, uh, the reservoir for the brake, where it comes off the brake, the line that comes off the brake reservoir. We got to tighten that up. Um, yeah, so we got a number of things to do. So we'll get started. Oh, safety inspector Frank. Oh, yeah, we got safety. Frank's in the house. We've got Frank from uh, Aircraft Genuine Hardware Company is here to watch over our work. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I got corrected. Genuine Aircraft Hardware Company. Uh, I said Aircraft Genuine Hardware Company. Got it wrong. <laughs> Well, changing gears. Uh, we found uh, we were gonna kind of we were gonna fit up initially the fuel servo. It goes on the bottom uh, down there, and uh, we were gonna fit that up and get everything measured out for the lines that we need to order. However, we discovered when we unpacked uh, the fuel servo is there is a spacer that goes in there uh, that we are missing. So. I'm going to have to figure out what happened with that and uh, probably order another one, I guess. Um, I think it got lost over at Continental when they were uh, prepping the engine for shipping. So we don't have that. Uh, so I don't want to continue going on without that part. So we are going to switch gears and uh, we're going to put the ignition coils back on the top. We've ran one of the spark plug cables through the side baffle. We're going to get that stuff uh, fit up and make sure everything is okay there. Um, and then, yeah, see what else, see, see what else we do. Well, cruising along here, I didn't really show any of this because it's pretty basic stuff, but uh, we measured out these spark plug wires and determined we'll put a, we're going to put a grommet here and a grommet there uh, for these lines and they'll be just fine there and there. Uh, we do need to get, uh, need to go get some grommets for those, so we're kind of at a stopping point at that uh, part. So we decided to return back to our header tank installation. So we're returning to the header tank installation and getting, we got back to um, a part where I wasn't real uh, clear on or wasn't, I don't know, not too confident on, I guess. Uh, one of the things they tell you to do is you measure in 2.3 inches back from, from that, um, that tube. Thank you. 
and then uh, 5.1 inches in from this inside tube here and you mark you put a mark on the skin right there and that tells you where to drill the pilot hole for the sump this is on a trike so that's the where the sump will be installed on a trike uh, we I marked that we marked that and then we fit the tank inside there and and when we fit the tank in there um, we determined that where that hole that pilot location was was going to place that sump right on the edge of this where this this drops down here on this tank it was going to be like right there so I'm thinking there's no way you're not gonna be able to get that in there so what I did was just measured this out halfway there uh, or I should say halfway between I made sure I was inside of where we drilled the hole for the fuel outlet and uh, put a line there and did that and then just ran them up a, around the side of the tank and then we took the tank and we put it in the airplane and once we got it in the airplane I put a mark uh, I put a mark right there and then I put another one uh, right there and then got a ruler and measured make sure we made sure we're still parallel to this and uh, did that line and then the line parallel to the side tube brought that out so that gives us the location of where that where I marked on that tank now this is where they had us measure the first time from the book and that's that would have put that right on that that edge uh, where that little sump where it drops down in the tank uh, on that corner so that's not a good location for us so this is how we determine where that's going to be located and this is the fitting that goes on the inside of the tank when that hole is in there this will go in, through the inside of the tank and will stick out that hole so you can see where if we would have put the hole back here where the measurement says in the in this figure and that's where this tank landed um, this fitting would have been like that inside the tank and as you can see there's no way that's going to fit in there so we just moved it forward and uh, got it lined up with that so that's where that'll be and then this one will that outlet will be there and these all mount from the inside so they'll be poking out uh, both sides and they don't run into each other all right got our pilot hole drilled here in the bottom where we marked that from the top and we put the tank in just now and you can see that uh, let's see if I zoom in here yeah, you can see that that's where that mark is whoop where that mark is that we uh, made on the tank lines up pretty dang close to where this hole is uh, where it ended up being so it's happy with that so we'll uh, we'll put a pilot hole up through this and into the tank and we'll final size these holes out for those uh, for that fitting well winter's not quite done with us yet uh, whoop even though it is now officially spring uh, we are getting some snow they're out there plowing the runways sweeping them off but I don't think anybody's coming or going today except the airlines all right we're done for today and uh, didn't show it you've seen me do it before I uh, just did a step drill for a uh, to a three-quarter inch hole in this bottom of this header tank and that is where our sump is going to be located didn't uh, drill the one in the, we just did that one pilot hole in the bottom skin. Um, I'm a little, a little nervous about doing this. Uh, this is the instruction on the figure. They say you have to give a quarter inch clearance around the nut that goes on this fitting. So this fitting will stick down. This is upside down, but it'll stick through the hole in the bottom skin of the fuselage and then um, you put the nut on, you thread that nut on. You have to do this with this in the airplane. That fitting sticks down too far. You can't, if that fitting is in here, you can't put the tank in. So this all has to happen with the tank installed in the airplane. So you put that fitting in there 
and you got to have room to tighten that nut on it. They say to give a quarter inch clearance on the widest part of the nut, so it's a half inch uh, in total. And I measured that out at one point, basically 1.3 inches. So we'd have to have a 1.8 inch hole. I'm talking almost a two inch hole in that bottom skin of the fuselage for that, uh, to, so we can put that sump in there. But it's gonna be covered with a gear leg uh, fairing or gear fairing on the bottom so that won't uh, be too bad but still I uh, just want to do some sanity check before I punch a nearly two inch hole in the bottom of the airplane um, to do this install but well, we'll see um, I think man I this is uh, not much of a video today most is this all talking is this all I did was talk on video stuff today that's right, we put the ignition uh, coils in. We installed the ignition coils in the brackets uh, and also pulled these spark plug wires through. We just kind of got them on there kind of haphazard now. We just did that to make sure everything was going to fit up okay. We did do the two holes on this side uh, for those cylinders, just didn't have the grommets. We drilled the holes, we don't have the grommets for it. We'll have to uh, go get those. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of where we're at for now, uh, so we'll be back tomorrow and continue on with this and or header tank installation and uh, see how far we get. So thanks for watching, have a good evening, and that's it for now.